And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Let's pray one more time as a family uh, that God be able to help me. God, Father in heaven, uh, we come to you one more time, Lord, asking that you'd give the increase, asking God that you'd hide me behind that rock, Lord. We're uh, so thankful for those that have come out today. Father, I pray that uh, they'll be fed by your word, God, they'd be increased their faith. And and Lord, everybody that's here today, we'd be able to uh, fight a good fight of faith and determine, Lord, to make heaven our home, that, uh, Lord, we've determined to make it with everything, Lord, whatever we face. We've got to uh, keep fighting a good fight of faith, Lord, to make that city our home one day. Lord, I'd pray that you'd move me out of the way as quick as you can. Uh, Guide my tongue, God. Guide the words that I would say, Lord, that uh, you'd be able to give the increase. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for standing for the reading of God's Word. Just a a little thought we read here and talking about as they led him to a place called Calvary. I've wondered in my mind what it took place. Amen. Maybe uh, the last couple of weeks God's been stirring my heart about uh, the journey that he took from birth into getting to Calvary. And my thought maybe today if I had to have a text would be on his way, amen, on his way to Calvary, praise God, on his way to that place, uh, on his way to be crucified. What uh, did Jesus do on his way? I, I find many times that he found those that uh, they were in need, friend, amen. Uh, he found those that were blind, praise God, that he touched them. Ain't you glad that he not only touches the, the physically blind, man, but he touches a a spiritually blind man, somebody uh, that don't know nothing about the Lord. On his way he found this. Uh, And there's something maybe a common denominator with all of these people as I try to bring back to you, friend. uh, uh, There's something common about every one of them. He left them better than he found them. Praise the Lord. He left them better than he found them. Do you know friend that as he went to the one who was blind and and his disciples couldn't do anything about it, but he began to get the spittle of clay and praise God, begin to wipe it on his eyes. Uh, I believe when he opened his eyes, he could see. Praise God, I believe when he opened his eyes, he could see like he was supposed to. He left him better than he found him. Ain't you glad he left you better than he found you? I read about others, I my, all the way through the Bible. Even as a young man at 12 years of age, I, we find him in the temple teaching and asking them questions. I believe he left them better than he found them. I believe he taught them, don't you? Every time the Lord comes around me and he begins to speak to my heart, he begins to teach me things. Has he taught you anything this week? I did he leaves you better than he found you this week sometimes he finds me praise God maybe in a in a state of anguish or in a state of anger praise God or, or maybe something else I'm dealing with but he always leaves me better and that's one thing about the Lord I'd like to ask you are you the same way uh, they taught us as young man maybe a part of conservation or something if, if you're walking along the road or, or walking maybe along the creek bank and you see something laying there you don't walk past it hey man I, I know that some people throw trash out the window I hope that's none of you uh, but if you see something, you're supposed to pick it up and leave it cleaner than you found it. You heard that before? I'm Praise the Lord. I'm glad he left me cleaner than he found me. I'm glad he cleaned me up, ain't you? There's been times he's had to do it again, but I'm glad when I met this man, he left me better than he found me. <laughs> hey, praise God. And hey, we read about the woman at the well. We can talk about her every week if you want to, but he left her better than he found her. He never left anybody in a bad shape unless they wanted to be that way. And when they took the roof off, they couldn't get to Jesus, and they took the roof off and let the man down. He said, thy sins be forgiven thee. I believe he left him better than he found him. He knew that he couldn't walk. He knew that he was lame. Amen. It was other people he touched that was lame. Ain't you glad that's the way Jesus hid? They some people, they leave me worse than they found me. Uh, they do their best to leave me worse than they found me when they walked in the room. But that ain't my Savior. I thought about maybe read it in Luke chapter 7. I thought maybe I'd read it, but I think we'll just stick with this. But in Luke chapter 7, we read about, praise God, we read about Mary coming and the Bible said that uh, there was a Pharisee and uh, there's a whole lot in this chapter 7 you read it it said there was a Pharisee that asked Jesus to come to his house praise God and he went in ain't you glad he don't leave the religious bunch out he don't leave the ones out to think they're better than everybody else but he went to his house too praise the Lord and it said that this, uh, this Pharisee asked Jesus to come in and he, he accepted the invitation and went in and, and the Bible said there was a sinner woman on the outside praise his holy name there was a sinner woman on the outside Outside. You know what? She said, I'm going to go in there. Uh, there's a man that can help me. There's a man, I'm going to get the best thing I got. I'm going to get that alabaster box, that ointment, praise God, that spike dirt that we've saved for a long time. She said, I'm going to go in that house. Ain't you glad she wasn't ashamed to go in the Pharisee's house? If she would have let herself, she would have talked herself out of it. How many times have we as 
sinner's head. I'm not going to church. Uh, they'll look down on me. They'll think, praise God, they're better than me. But I'm glad, praise God, she put all that behind her. And she said, I'm going to the Pharisee's house because that's where Jesus is at. And she went inside there, the Bible said, and she came up behind him. I'm, I'm supposing he was sitting down maybe uh, there to eat and had his feet behind him. I don't know, but uh, that's kind of the way I'm seeing it. And she came up behind him, praise the Lord. She came up behind him and began to uh, wash his feet. She began to pour the oil on him, the ointment on him, praying. And praise God, she gave everything she had to him. I believe she's leaving him better than she found him, don't you? How many people don't leave the Lord better than they found him? Uh, they try to take from him. This world beats him, praying. They mocked him. They spit upon him. They plucked his beard. They done everything they could to him. But still, oh Lord, still in spite of that, he left them better than he found them. As we see Mary there washing his feet and raise God with the hair of her head, she began to, to wash his feet and maybe, uh, maybe begin to anoint him. And that Pharisee, some of them Pharisees begin to speak within himself. He said, if he knew who this woman was, if him really being a prophet, if he knew who this woman was, he would know who it is who touches him. And you know what? Right after that, I loved it when I read it last night. It says she was a sinner. <laughs> hey, the sinners can still touch the Lord today. The sinner man can still touch the Lord. The sinner woman can still touch the Lord today. She left him. She left us a great example. Leaving him better than you found him. Amen. Ain't you glad that's the way he is? Everybody in this book, I don't find anybody in that book, when he walks down the road and sees him in a bad shape, he don't leave them. He don't leave them, praise God, in a bad shape, but he fixes the problem if you let him. Oh, Lord, when I begin to feel that spirit come down in my heart, do you know what it weighs? Praise God. When I begin to feel that spirit, it doesn't matter if it's on you, if it's on somebody else. When I get in the presence of the Lord, it makes me better than I was. Amen. He leaves me better than he found me. Did he do you like that? When he found you in your drunk state, when he found you in your sinful ways, amen, like he found me, he didn't leave me like that. He didn't leave me in my sins, friend, but he brought me up out of that. I'm glad he did, ain't you? How many things have you walked past this week? How many things have I walked past this week I could have helped? How many situations did I walk past this week? This is me to the word, friend, if you don't know. How many times did I walk past something this week I could have helped? Something this week I could have picked up and helped, praise God, maybe even as a piece of trash. Uh, you say, I ain't doing that. Why not? Hey, Amen. You better somebody else. I know we can't pick it all up, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. Taking time to talk to a sinner man. Taking time to talk to a sinner woman. And leave them better than you found them. Hey, Amen. You see people so many times on a day that you're having a good day. Maybe they ain't having such a good day. Maybe they're low in their spirits. You can tell when you talk to them, their countenance is low. They got a lot of heavy weight on them. And we say, well, I can't help you. You go somewhere else. I'd like to be the one that would help them, wouldn't you? I look through this Bible. I see everybody that Jesus came in contact with. He helped them. He left the one on the cross better. Amen. And this is what happened, amen, from the time he was born to the time he died. I believe he gives us a good example. The Bible tells us that Jesus left us this example that we would live just like he's living and helping people. Amen. Is it common? to you to help somebody? Is it common to you to take up something and, and help somebody with? Hey, praise the Lord. Sometimes it ain't common to me. I've got to ask the Lord to give me strength with that. Lord, give me strength. Give me eyes to see where I can help somebody and make their day better than it was. Oh my. I remember the day he come to me. Do you remember the day that Jesus came to you? He didn't leave you blinded. Amen. I don't see anybody he walked away from that was stealing their sins unless they wanted to be. I don't see anybody that couldn't walk unless they didn't want to. I don't see anybody that was blind when he left unless they didn't want to see. Everybody he left, he changed. You said, I'm not Jesus. I know you're not. But you got a little piece of him in you, don't you? I can't bring the sight back to a blind man, no. I praise God, but I can take a little piece of Jesus to him. I can take just a little piece of the master and drop it off and leave it with him. Hey, even if he ain't home, say, hey, leave this for here. I'm going to leave this here and you give it to him when he gets back. I'm glad that Jesus was like that. And everywhere he went, he had a purpose. When he went to Samaria, hey, amen. When they, when they came to him and they, they showed him the woman, oh, Lord, when they brought the woman and him very caught in a very act of adultery, he left her better than he found her, did he not? <laughs> Praise God. He said, go and sin no more. When John chapter 5, when he found a man laying by the pool and he seen there was a problem there, at the end of it, he found him in the temple. He said, go and sin no more. He left him better than he found him, friend. Ain't you glad Jesus did you like that? <laughs> How did he find you? <laughs> I guess you was a good old boy and a good old girl. Is that how he found you? Or did he find you in your sin? <laughs> did he find you at the bottom? Amen. How was it when he found you? Where was you at when he found you? Where was 
was it at when you finally stopped hiding from him and said, Lord, I'm over here. Lord, I'm over here. Amen. It looks like with Adam, amen, in the beginning of the book, it looks like that they made a terrible sin and they did. Because of one man's disobedience, many became sinners. But because of one man's obedience, many became righteous. We look at that and we see Jesus coming. We see God coming down to them. Amen. He left them better. I know it said that they was on the outside, but where would we be at today? We wouldn't even be able to be there without that friend. I'm glad that God loved us enough that he sent his only begotten son and left us better than he found us. Ain't you glad of that? He could have let us die on this earth without hope. Amen. Aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, but he set hope for us and he sent his son down. He left us better than he found us. Mankind, he left, he left mankind better than he found us. He said he left all these things under his feet. How shall he find them when he returns? Shall he find these things under his feet when he returns? Oh God, would you come down one more time and remind us that you're doing us good. Lord, this world says I don't need that religion. This world says I don't need salvation. I'm telling you what they do need. They need the Lord to come down and squeeze their heart and remind them that he loves him. Remind them that he wants to walk with him and talk with him throughout the day. Oh Lord, he's going to leave you better than you found you. How many of you can say he left me better than he found me? Everybody in this book, I find nobody. You tell me one person that he left them not better than he found them unless they wanted it that way. Pilate could have been better, amen, if he had just received him. The only ones that are not better is because they rejected him. The only ones in this book that didn't, when he left them, they wasn't better is because they turned away from him. They said they don't want no part in this man. They, they said crucify him. Crucify him. Ain't that what they said? Oh Lord, he left them worse, but it was their fault. It was their fault for saying crucify. Give us Barabbas. Give us, I believe he left Barabbas better than he found him too, don't you? I don't know what Barabbas done with it, but I believe he left him better than he found him. A man inside a prison, praise the Lord. Have you been in prison before? I don't care. You're talking about the bars. I'm talking about the spiritual prison. When you don't feel like you can get out, you don't feel like you can do anything, but God sent his son inside there. Oh Lord, when I find myself in that spiritual prison, I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can go another day. I've got to look to the Lord. Amen. I believe he found, He puts everybody better than the way he found them. The one he found in prison, the ones he found on the boat. Amen. I've thought about this before. When Peter, amen, all them was upset about the ship and, and the storm came about and, and I know he said, peace be still. Do you know there was other little ships out there? You read your Bible, there was other little ships out there. That wasn't the only ship that got to be calm. That wasn't the only ship, I'm telling you. He left everybody out there that night better than he found them. It wasn't just one ship being calm. There was many ships on that water that night, I believe. The way I read my Bible, I find other ships. I find there was others on that ocean, on that lake, or whatever it is, that sea. You can look at it yourself. He left all of them better than he found them, friend. That's just the way my Savior is. Now, if I'm fashioning myself like that, as we talked about earlier, am I leaving those better than I found? them? Am I taking time to speak a word of the Lord to somebody? Am I taking time to make sure that they know Jesus loves them? Am I taking time out of my day? Amen. It may take a little extra time, but am I taking time to tell them about what Jesus did for me? I don't like leaving people bad in a bad place if I can. I don't. If, if I'm, somebody's already helping, I know that. But it'll come a time when God will allow you to help somebody. When Jesus, I can't shut up my bowels of compassion. This world would love to shut up their bowels of compassion and not help anybody. I'm glad Jesus didn't do that. I'm glad Jesus didn't walk past me and say, I can't do nothing with that one. I can't do nothing with that one. Let him go. He said, I'm going to that one. I'm going to the one outside. I'm going after that one lost sheep. Amen. That's what Jesus did. What are we doing? What am I doing? Am I taking time to go after that one? Am I taking time to leave somebody better than I found them? Amen. I told you that about setting people up for success and setting people up for failure. I know that. And all these things he done was from the time he was born to the time he died. Maybe 33 years. Amen. Look at all he done. We're still reading about it. The Praise God. The books can't contain everything this man done. Hey, you can't write it down. There ain't enough books on this earth. There's not enough ink to write down what Jesus did when he was on this planet. Just in a few short 33 years, amen. Most of y'all older than that. I look at the love that he showed people. How many times am I not showing love like I need to? God, would you help us today not to shut up our bowels, to be an evangelistic church, to help somebody? Oh, are we leaving them better than we found them? I hope next time you roll that window down and throw your trash out, you remember what your pastor said. Don't you do that. So I just got to pick that mess up, amen. Take your time and pick it up. I see people do it all the time. It's a good thing I ain't a police officer. I'd arrest all of them. Praise God. Don't leave it worse than you found it. That's the way the world is. They like to leave everything worse than they found it, amen. You rent a, a, rent a room or something or, or rent an apartment and you leave it worse than you found it, you're going to pay for that. Uh, you ain't getting your deposit 
back. Amen. If you leave it worse than you found it. But I pray that God would help us to give us a mind of Christ today. Lord, give us a mind that we leave this earth a better place. When I leave here, I want it to be a little bit better for the actions that I showed to others. God, I believe with all of us we can make a change. Amen. Hey, you say one person can't change the world. No. But it starts with one person. Hey, one person can't change my family. Yeah, it can. All it takes is one person. You believe that? Hey, you cannot get an amen right there. It just takes one person to say, I'm going to church today, whether you go or not. That's all it takes. This one person to say, I'm going to church today. I don't care if you go or not. I've got to go. Hey, I told a man this week, I said, if mama don't go, I've got to go. If daddy don't go, I've got to go. If my wife don't go, I've got to go. I've got to make heaven my home, friend. I can't miss it for nothing. I can't miss it for nothing. And be able to show this world the love of Christ. Hey, did you show them the love of Christ this week? Did I show them the love of Christ this week? Oh, did the devil, did he whip me this week? Did he get me to a place where I didn't tell nobody? You think in your mind just for a minute, I'm going to close. I'm about, about done. You know that as well as I. Hey, praise God. But how many this week did you stop and tell about the Lord? How many this, did you leave it better than you found it? Did you leave it better than you found it? Amen. Hey, praise God. Did you leave this world better than you found it? Did you leave your work better than you found it? You say all of them down there is hateful. You ain't got to be. Praise the Lord. You ain't got to be. It don't matter how hateful they are. It don't matter how hateful this world is. We ain't got to be like that. Because the Lord's come down in our heart. He saved me and I ain't got to go to hell. Hey, do you go up to the most hateful person you know and look at them and say, I ain't got to go to hell. That'll get them stirred up. That'll get their mind white. Praise God. Let them argue all they want to. I ain't going to hell. I want the world to know that. I want to leave this world better than I found it. Amen. When I came in this world in 1975, it's probably in a bad shape then. Looks like it's getting worse now. I believe it is. If you want to look at it historically. But you know what? I ain't got to leave it bad in my part. I don't have to leave a bad witness in my part. I can leave it better than I found it. Amen. Do you believe we can still do that? It's not about you, friend. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. How many people in this world do we live around? It seems like it's common to be about them. I'm glad as we talked about them, uh, this men. I'm glad they cared enough about that man to go to the act of moving the, the roof, amen, and dropping him down. I believe they left him better than they found him, don't you? I don't believe they said, well, boys, we can't get in there today. I guess you just have to lay here and wait till next time. Maybe next time that, that tour, he'll come back through. You know, when he's a lost man, they have people toured around and you try to see where there's going to be at and, and where you could go listen to their music or whatever, friend. And they begin to look and Jesus was in the house. They said, we're going today. We're not going to procrastinate no more. We're going to take you and drop you down to the one. Hey, Mary Magdalene said, I've got to get in there. I'm a sinner, but I'm going to give myself to him. Hey, can I remind you, he's still touching sinners. You go back and read that Luke chapter 7. Sister Judy, if you come to music. And Luke chapter 7. Oh, Lord, when he began to talk <laughs> and you begin to look at that and it says she was a sinner. The last part of that verse, I can't remember, it's maybe in the 30s. And the last part of that verse, it says, <laughs> and she was a sinner. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But he allowed that sinner to touch him. He allowed that sinner. He's not a high priest that can't be touched by the feelings of our infirmities. He's touched, friend. But whatever you're going through today, he's touched by that and you can leave your home better. You say everybody at the house is all up in an uproar like a bunch of hens fighting. You ain't got to leave it like that. <laughs> you ain't got to leave it like that. Hens like to fight. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. I hope it don't hit any of you hens. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, my wife, she got some new hens the other day. And you know what happened? Them hens like to fight one another. And praise God. Don't play yet. And them hens like to fight one another for some reason. Hey, they look just alike, brother. Why in the world are they fighting? They living in the same house. Why are they trying to fight? I don't know. And we had to go out there. She told me, she said, I had to go down. There was a fight to the death. I had to go down. There was a fight to the death. You know what <laughs> could have happened? Those older hens could have been a whole lot better to them younger hens or them newer hens. Amen. And them newer hens could have been a whole lot better to the older ones, but they wanted to fight. <laughs> hey, praise God. I think yesterday maybe they calmed down, but I thought only men bowed up and wanted to fight. Amen. I believe what I'm finding, women like to do the same thing. Amen, preacher. Hey, you ain't got to leave it like that. You don't have to praise God just because everybody else is hateful. Just because everybody else got a sour attitude don't mean you got to. Hey, if one of them hens would have said, I ain't fighting you. I've got all the corn I want. The fight would have stopped. Amen. It takes two to fight. Oh, I don't know why I'm going here, but it feels good and I'm going to go to it. 
It takes two to fight. You can leave it better than you found it. Amen. If me and my wife want to fight, if I don't want to fight, I, we're not going to fight because I'm not doing it. If she don't want to fight, amen, it takes two to fight. Amen. If them hens finally get to a place, I don't know why they want to fight one another. They got plenty of corn. She feeds them enough for a thousand. Amen. They got enough food. They all got plenty of warmth. They got plenty of place to lay down, but they still want to argue. They're not leaving it better than they found it. Amen. They don't have to do that, but God said that he left you better than he found you and gave you an example that you need to do this world like that. When you go to the grocery store, praise the Lord, when you go to the grocery store and you see there's somebody there that's got a sour attitude <laughs> and they're checking on your groceries or something, just leave them better than you found them. You don't know what they've been through. They may have found out their husband was cheating on them. They may have found out that their child, ch- child just got hurt or something. You never know what they're going through. But leave them better, friend. Leave a piece of Jesus everywhere you go. I'd like for a trail of my life, amen. If you trailed my life since I've been saved, I'd like for you to find a little piece of Jesus here and a little piece of Jesus there and know the way that I took all the way there only by him. I'm the least of least. She begins to play. I'm the least of anybody here. Paul said, I'm the least of the least. The chief among sinners worthy of exhortation. I'm the chief among sinners. But God left me better and it makes me want to leave. You know why? Because Jesus was on his way to the cross. That's what I read to you. He was on his way to the cross. He knew he had but a short time. He left everywhere better. I don't believe when he left, oh Lord, I'm going to get personal here. I don't believe when he left the table at a restaurant, he made a big mess so somebody else had to clean it up. I believe he kept kept cleaned up a little bit himself. I don't care how much you pay them people to clean up. How about taking time to clean the table a little bit yourself? Hey, that's where we live at, friend. You know what I've heard before? People said, I hate when Christian after church come up here and eat. They're the most hateful people. Oh Lord, that breaks me. They're the most hateful people. They won't leave no tip. And they're just hateful about everything. I've heard that so many times. You know how many people don't go to church because they've waited tables for church people? That ought not be. That ought not be. Lord, we ought to be the best people they've ever served. We ought to be the best people they ever come to the table. When they come to clean our table, it ought already be halfway clean. We ought to have everything ready. If you say this ain't in the book, praise God. Prefer your brother. Prefer your, I don't care who they are. Prefer your brother and leave them better. Maybe they've had a rough night. Maybe they had a bad day. They've worked four or five straight shifts. And they come up to one table and it's already cleaned. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice to already have your dishes piled up? And then look at it and go, wow. And you leave them a nice note. Tell them the Lord loves them. Tell them how much you love them. That God wants to save their soul. That Jesus is still alive on this earth. Have you thought about that before? That's where we live at. But it's easy just to think about me. It's easy to think about the ease and the sedani. So that I can sit back in Zion. So that I ain't got to do nothing. Unless somebody else do it, I'm paying them for it. That's nonsense. You take the time to make this world better than you found it. You take the time to make the restaurant better than you found it. Praise God. When they're saying hee-haw and happy birthday, if they can do that, you can praise the Lord the same way. It ain't no different in it. Every head by the right close, you like to stand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My, my. On his way to Calvary. (laughs) Trying to make a way for you, friend. All the way to Calvary, he had his mind on making things better. And you know what? When he left this earth and hung on that cross, I believe he made the world a better place, don't you? I believe he made the world a whole lot better place than he found it. He found it. They tried to reject him. You say, well, he's not been through. He came to his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave him power. They rejected him. They spit upon him. They hated him. But he still, in spite of that, made it a better place. You say, I ain't got to take that. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> but you got to love them. <laughs> you got to love them. You got to share the love of Christ and leave it better than you found it, friend. Leave it better than you found it. Did you do that this week? Maybe somebody needed an encouraging word. Maybe somebody you worked with. My. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe somebody you worked with needed to be encouraged and you refused to do it. But God put it on your heart. Please, this coming week, I'm going to try to do my best too. I've not yet obtained this. I'm wrestling with it myself. But to leave it better than you found it. Leave the dinner table better than you found it, husband. Wife, you leave it better than you found it too. Let's love one another. Mother, father, children. Children, take care of your parents. It's the only set you got. One day, if time goes on, they're going to be dead and gone. You wish you spent more time with them. I know sometimes they get in your business. I know that, but they just love you. 
I know that, friend, but leave them better than you found them. Take time to tell them you love them. Amen. You don't know what tomorrow, what today holds, what tomorrow may hold. Amen. This church may only be half full tonight, but everybody may die on the way home. I don't know. I'd like to be ready, wouldn't you? And just take time, amen, to leave it better than I found it. This world's going to realize that you're different. They're going to realize if you leave it better than you found it. Most people, so hateful to everybody, especially somebody that's waiting on them, somebody they feel like is below them. Let me tell you something here. There ain't nobody below nobody here. I'm not above anybody here. We're all equal today. All in the sight of God, we're all equal. And He expects every one of us, like He did, to leave it better than we found it. Anybody like to come pray? Anybody like to come pray? Anybody like to say, Lord, I need help leaving this better than I found it. I'm dealing with a situation I'm really having a hard time with. I'm really struggling with this, God. I really want to get in the flesh and tell them what I think about them. Yes, praise God. Would you help me leave it better than I found it? Oh, Lord, help me to lead my friends to Christ. Not to lead them in a ditch. God, help me to do it. Yes, yes, yes. Help me to leave it better than I found it. Oh, Lord, help me leave it better than I found it. Anybody else like to lift up your hand and put it right back down? I need help leaving it better than I found it. <laughs> Wherever it's at, friend, God, will help you with that. If Jesus did it on his way to Calvary, you know where you're on your way to? Oh, Lord, you're on your way to a crossing. It's appointed on the man who wants to die. I talked to a man yesterday. He said, you know what? He said, I'm not a very old man in my mid-50s, but he said, death's coming closer, and death's coming closer, and death's coming closer. It's just waiting on me. Praise God, you know that. (laughs) Death's coming closer. All the way to Calvary. On his way, he done good things. On your way to death, friend, that dash that we read about, that dash that we hear about in a lot of funerals, from the born date and the dead date, that dash in the center, that's what I'm talking about today. That's the time you can leave it better than you found it. What about it, friend? Anybody else like to raise a hand before we pray? Yes. Yes, yes. Anybody else like to raise a hand? You may have a situation on your hands, and you don't know what to do about it. I tell you, just leave it better than you found it. If they curse you, praise God. Just smile at them and say, Jesus loves you. If they despitefully use you, pray for them, friend. Pray for the enemy that despitefully uses you. Pray for that one, amen, that stabs you in the back. Pray for that one that does you wrong. They're going to do you wrong, friend. They hated Jesus. They hate you. They're going to do everything they can to hurt you. They're going to do everything they can to discourage you. But you know what? (laughs) I got my mind set on heaven. I got my mind set on making heaven my home. Amen. Praise God. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I heard this story, and I'll close with this. My, my. There was these soldier boys, and you know they're supposed to keep their boots clean. And, amen. They's trying to make one of them mad, and they kept going and getting his boots muddy. And every time they'd have inspection, the drill sergeant would come up, and he'd bless that one out for having dirty boots, and he wasn't even the one that done it. They'd done it to him. Just kept going on, kept going on. My, my. He could have handled that a couple different ways, but I guess he must have been right with the Lord. Said one night they heard something, looked down, he was cleaning their boots. (laughs) He was cleaning his boots, had the mud on it, they put on it. He was also cleaning theirs. Make sure theirs wasn't dirty. (laughs) Didn't take them long to stop making his boots muddy. Praise God, he calls a fire upon their head, friend. Heap coals of fire upon their head and leave it better than you found it. Father in heaven, we come to you. We thank you, Lord, for this message. Thank you for speaking to our heart, God, for everything that you've done for us, everything you've given us. We thank you for the beautiful day, Lord, for the message of trying to leave this world.